Good morning. Please join me in welcome to the podium the class of 2016 senior class vice president Jacob Campbell to do our invocation. Good morning. My name is Jacob Campbell. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my loving family, friends, and all of the Pickens High School faculty and staff for your support and countless times in which you've offered your guidance and wisdom. I would also like to personally thank Ms. Heather Whitfield for her extreme dedication to her job. Ms. Whitfield, you have truly made a prominent impact upon every senior here today. Thank you all. I wouldn't be here today without you. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 8 states, My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. My fellow classmates, when times aren't going so well, or you take the wrong turn through your future rigorous journeys, I encourage you to look into the Lord for insight due to His overwhelming wisdom and compassion for every individual here today. God's plan will never fail you. Everything has a purpose behind it, whether you understand it or not. Always practice obedience to the Lord and allow Him to guide you throughout your lives. Now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come unto you as beggars with eager desires and ambitions for our futures. As we enter into the next chapter of our life, we ask you to show us your knowledge and guidance. Lord, we ask you to remind us of our past and allow us to reminisce on the lessons that have shaped us into the young men and women we are today. We ask you to set a path in front of us and allow us to follow in the plans in which you have laid out despite the hardships that will surely occur. God, I ask you to bless every single classmate here today. God, I pray that every single individual here comes unto you when their burdens seem to be buoyant. God, I pray that we render thanks to those who made this day possible for us. God, we thank you for the friendships and countless memories that you have blessed us with. God, we thank you for the guidance in which you will offer unto us throughout our futures. Finally, I pray that we seek our gra your grace through undeniable faith and trust in you because your mercy is endless. In your name we pray. Amen. Please stand for the national anthem. be seated. Good morning. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of Pickens High School, welcome to the graduation exercises of the class of 2016. I would like to take this time to recognize the following special individuals I ask that you please stand when I call your name. Audience, please hold your applause to the very end. Let's start off with our superintendent, Dr. Lula Mae Perry. 
Members of the Pickens County Board of Education, our chair, Mr. Mike Cowart, our vice chair, Ms. Delane Lewis, Ms. Peggy Andrews, Mr. Daniel Bell, and Mr. Byron Long, our director of federal programs, Ms. Sherry Martin, director of teaching and learning, Dr. Sandy Green, director of technology, Mr. Patrick Shea, and he's out there somewhere and done a beautiful job with our field, director of school operations, Mr. Stacy Gillian. Please give these individuals a round of applause for their service to our students. Thank you so much. The next group of special guests is my administrative colleague sitting to my left. I'm honored that they're here today to celebrate our graduating seniors. To my left, I'm indebted to them for their great work that they've invested in our students. Principals, please stand when I call your name. And again, audience, if you'll please hold your applause to the end. Representing Pickens County Middle School, Principal Penny Fowler. Principal of Tate Elementary School, Ms. Sandy Lehman. Jasper Middle School, Mr. Shane Purdy. Harmony Elementary School, Ms. Linda Wallace. Jasper Elementary School, Dr. David Wiles. Representing Hill City Elementary School in lieu of Joita Youngblood, Sister Principal Jennifer Halco. Please give these individuals a round of applause. Thank you so much. I think it's very clear that the most important people in the school are our students. There's no doubt about that. With that said, the most important adults in the building of any school is the excellent faculty and staff, especially here at Pickens High School. Faculty and staff. Please stand at this time and be recognized. Please give these individuals a big round of applause for their great work. Thank you. As many of you know, this is Memorial Day weekend. At this time, I want to take a moment to recognize seniors who have decided to join our U.S. military, and they are in the process of joining. You see, I'm a son of a U.S. military and a grandson of a U.S. military, and I think it's, we owe these young people that type of gratitude. Students who are wearing their red, white, and blue cords have successfully joined the U.S. military already. Some of these young men and women are not present today due to their military obligations. When I call your name, if you'll please stand, Matthew Bearden, Sean Bishop, Garrett Brasso, Hannah Brown, Stephen Drake, Cameron Eagleson, Dylan Gassaway, Scott Getz, Ethan Goodwin, Cutter Hefner, Andrew Hunt Henry, Anthony Hill, Walker Lawrence, Pablo Martinez, Stephen Rooker, Austin Sparks, Annalise Vieskas. Let's please give these people a big round of applause. Thank you so much. I've had the pleasure of observing many Pickens High School graduation ceremonies, either as a school administrator or as a spectator. I have always admired how the Pickens High School graduation ceremonies have incorporated the best parts of the school, the students and the faculty. We're very special in that way. Today, you will see seniors presenting and speaking, junior marshals assisting at graduation, the band and chorus performing, our explorers assisting with traffic, Additionally, our main speaker is a faculty member selected by the class of 2016, and the official announcer of students' names will be our senior class president. This beautiful podium that I stand behind was constructed by our FFA students and won fourth place at a past state FFA competition. I truly believe that this is a student and teacher collaboration, and it's very special and symbolic of the bond that exists at Pickens High School between our students and staff. It is my hope that you will enjoy today's graduation ceremony. I do have to have one administrative note. Please, please, please be courteous to each of our speakers and to all our students when their names are called. 
Please avoid any prolonged noises caused by air horns and cowbells that all, so that all our parents and loved ones will be able to hear their child's name. I thank you for your cooperation in this request. This time I'd like to introduce Ms. Jenny Morris, Secretary of the Class of 2016, who will come forward to introduce the guest speaker chosen by the senior class. Thank you, Dr. Lemieux. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jenny Morris, and I'm the Senior Class Secretary. First and foremost, on behalf of the Class of 2016, I must thank all of you in attendance. Thank you for your support here and throughout our past. Personally, I must also thank my peers. Thank you for electing me as your Class Secretary. This morning, I have the honor of introducing our selected class speaker, Ms. Debbie Roper. Ms. Roper was born just down the road at the Tate Community Hospital. She attended Pickens High School herself and married her high school sweetheart, Barry Roper. Their two children, Jessica and Tyler, are both graduates of Pickens High School as well, and Jessica is currently a kindergarten teacher at Jasper Elementary School. Recently, Jessica has also made Ms. Roper a very happy and young grandmother. Ms. Roper received her associate's degree in education at Reinhardt College in 1984, her bachelor's degree from Kennesaw College in 1986, and her master's in adolescent education, language arts, from Kennesaw State in 2010. Ms. Roper has taught at Pickens High School for 21 years. She has always been an English teacher, but has also served in many other capacities as well. She was the yearbook sponsor, the color guard sponsor, cross country and track coach, and department chair. Ms. Roper is retiring this year. She plans to devote her time to her new grandbaby. And without further ado, please join me in welcoming Ms. Debbie Roper. Good morning. Okay, I've written like 15 drafts of this and I may or may not use it, so just bear with me. First of all, thank you, English Department, to all of you who reminded me to bring my reading glasses. I only wish that I had asked you to remind me to bring some tissues. <laughs> Good morning, class of 2016. Thank you very much for choosing me to be your commencement speaker. I am humbled by your regard. You'll notice that the first speech, longer speech given this morning, is by the old person. <clears throat> There's a reason for this. Mark Twain said, if you eat a live frog in the morning, nothing worse will happen to you the rest of that day. I'm your live frog, folks. We are graduating together, you and I. You're graduating from Pickens High School, just like I did 34 years ago. Shout out to everybody up there from the class of 82. I know Jean and Pam are here, and I know why. Anybody else from the class of 82, rock on. <clears throat> I'm graduating from my career of 30 years as an English language arts teacher. I'm being promoted to the position of Grammy, as she said. We are all facing monumental changes in our lives. And when you asked me to be your speaker, I racked my brain. I wanted to say something so profound so full of wisdom that you would absolutely weep at how smart I was. My head hurt. And then I got to thinking, how many of you in the stands remember what your graduation speaker said when you graduated from high school? How many of you even remember who your graduation speaker was? That's what I thought. So, 30 years from now, you guys are not going to remember anything, and there was a great weight lifted off of my shoulders. Several of you who have been sentenced to my class have seen me stand in the front of the room more than once, lift my eyes to the heavens, and say, Dear Lord, please give me the strength and the patience to keep my mouth shut and not say or do anything that will get me fired today. Amen. <laughs> Usually that's when I was threatening to take about five cell phones and put them in the Corbin Johnson box of shame on my desk. It must have worked. I didn't get fired. <clears throat> yeah, my prayer this morning is that you'll get a little wisdom out of what I have to say. 
You guys live in a different world than the one I grew up in. When I grew up, there were no cell phones. They, had, they were on the wall and they had long curly cords. Uh, TVs had no remotes. Your little brother was the remote. You told him to change the channel. Computers were as big as a classroom and as slow as turtles. There was no internet and thank you, sweet baby Jesus, there was no Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat to publicly display every mistake I made. Some of you know what I'm talking about, okay? Most of the time, you hold in your hand a tiny computer that connects you to the world instantly. Everything is instantaneous in your world. You never have to wait. Patience is something that your generation has got to work on, all right? You can Google anything. When I had to do research, I had to go to a library and look through a card catalog and then go find a book by the Dewey Decimal System and then I had to research in a book with actual paper pages. You don't have to do that anymore. The one thing that you need to know, the one thing you need to count on is that the only constant in life is that everything changes. And if you don't learn to adapt with change, then you're not going to fare well. My mind can't wrap around the things that your children will see in the next 34 years. Self-driving cars. Don't laugh. They're already making prototypes of self-driving cars. Humans colonizing Mars. People are signing up now to be on that first trip to Mars. It's really happening. You will continue to develop and manufacture newer, faster, better things, gadgets and gizmos to, take, to make our lives easier. That's a given. Consider how quickly technology changes. Many of you got a laptop when you came to high school. You probably never use it anymore. It's obsolete. Everything changes. Even our language changes. I was curious. I thought, what has happened to our language since you guys were freshmen? Every year, the Oxford English Dictionary has an official word of the year. And in 2013, when you guys were freshmen, the word of the year was selfie. Now, you've used the word selfie so much now. Hold on just a second. Okay. Okay. You've used the word selfie so much now that you can't imagine it ever not being in use. Raise your hand if you took a selfie this morning. <laughs> See? Leave it up if you took more than one. That's what I thought. Unfortunately, that same year when you were freshmen, the word twerk was invented. And many of you were twerking while you made your Harlem Shake videos. Remember that? In 2014, when you were sophomores, the official word of the year was vape, V-A-P-E. Don't get me started on cigarettes, regular or the e-kind. My best advice to you, and I say this at every graduation, is do not smoke unless you are on fire. <clears throat> During your junior year, 2015, the fine folks working for the Oxford Dictionary didn't choose a word as the word of the year. They chose an emoji. An emoji. The face with tears of joy because, as they said, it best reflected the ethos, mood, and preoccupations of 2015. At this point, you can imagine me using the rolling eyes emoji. How can a freaking pictograph be the word of the year? 2016 word of the year? I don't know. But don't you dare throw shade on me for not knowing. I think my research is on fleek. <laughs> your class... <laughs> your class has seen so many successes. There are championships, victories over rivals in both sports and arts and music, academics. You've broken a multitude of records. We had three region championships this spring. Girls track, boys track, and girls golf all on the same day. Congratulations. <laughs> Several of you have earned both academic and athletic scholarships, which your, your parents are extremely proud of. Um, I, in my last data that I saw, I saw that the class of 2016 has been awarded upwards of 1.45 million, that's with an M, 1.45 million dollars in scholarship money. Very impressive. 
Also, 155, 155 out of the 265 graduates earned the Hope Scholarship. That also is impressive. But you know what is going to impress me more? If you keep the Hope Scholarship. That, here's my best piece of advice for you when you go to college. Go to class. Go to class, okay? Don't give in to that little voice that urges you just to sleep in and miss this one class. Because if you miss this one class, then you'll miss another one. Then you'll become a habit of missing classes. And then you'll find yourself skipping regularly until it's bye-bye hope and hello student loan payments. So, go to class. You are a class of winners, but you know what? As fun as winning is, it is not the most important thing in life. I'll tell you what's more important than winning, and that's how you treat each other, how you treat other people. Two of my favorite days at the year, of the year at Pickens High School has always been White Christmas and Special Olympics. In a world where we can easily be so caught up in ourselves, these two days showcase your willingness to focus on others and to give to those less fortunate than yourselves. Please take that giving spirit and attitude out into the world with you and make it a better place. Not too long ago, I was sitting in the drive through line at Chick-fil-A, and I got this crazy notion, I'm going to pay for the car behind me. And when I paid for my meal, I asked the little girl at the drive through I said, how much for the car behind me? And she told me. I paid for the young lady's meal, and the rest of the day, I thought, I don't know that person. Never met her, never will. But I smiled and I felt good because I spent like six bucks and change on somebody's meal. Now, if they had told me it was two corporate trays and it was a hundred bucks, I would have said, how about the car after that one? Okay. Point is, being kind to others makes you feel good about yourself. An act of kindness doesn't have to cost money. Smile at somebody, inquire about their day, hold the door for them, volunteer at the animal shelter, Help an elderly person with some chore. Someday you're going to be the parent, the aunt, the uncle, even the grandparent. And here's a side note. Aunts and uncles sitting up there, make sure you're their favorite. Favorite aunt or uncle, because I'm telling you, when you're in the nursing home someday, your own children are going to try to make you eat all that nutritious stuff the doctor wants you to. Your nephews and nieces are going to bring you the contraband food and drink. So be their favorite one. Barbara DeAngelis said, Love and kindness are never wasted. They always make a difference. They bless the one who receives them, and they bless you, the giver. No act of kindness is ever a waste of time, not a waste of effort, even when it goes unappreciated by the person to whom you're kind. I've seen your kindness while you were here. Kindness to your friends, to those who are not blessed with the ability or intellect that you possess, to those whose resources do not equal your own. And I want you to remember how being kind makes you feel. And I hope that when you remember me, you'll remember me as a teacher who was kind. I know many of you won't remember the difference between a metaphor and a simile or what Hamlet meant when he said, to be or not to be, that is the question. Okay? I hope you will remember that I cared about you. I hope you remember the time we trekked down that mountain to the creek got in with our Huck Finn rafts and let them race. I hope you remember when we sat in the stairs in the stadium to write personal narratives on a beautiful day like this. I hope you remember that day that Anthony and I sat in class and he played the guitar and we sang a spiritual together. That was cool. And I hope you remember those kinds of things. Um, remember all the times we talked about food and sometimes we actually ate a lot of food in my classroom. Sorry for the ants. Um, and Anthony Blake, uh, uh, Anthony, sorry, I already spoke to Anthony. Larry Blake Wilson, my room still smells like bacon, thank you. I will get older, and unfortunately, I probably won't remember all your names. But I will remember that you were my kids, and I'm proud of you and want you to have wonderful lives. My cross-country and track seniors, I remember all the practices in the sweltering heat and in the freezing cold wind and rain. I remember screaming for you so loudly that afterwards I could barely speak. Sharing your victories and your disappointments has been one of the highlights of my career, and I can't wait to hear your success stories. 
For one moment, I have to address the faculty and staff at DHS. That's where I need the tissue. Thank you for your love and support that you have given me over the years. Many, many times, your confidence in me has kept self-doubt from being overwhelming. In the last 21 years, I laughed and I cried. We have shared joys and we've shared sorrows. There have been weddings and births and tragedies. We've vented and fumed and fussed very much. Stay out of the teacher's lounge when the teachers are upset. I'll miss seeing you every day, but I'm not going to disappear. I'll be around. People ask me daily if I'm sad. I'm not sad. I'm happy. I'm going on to another place in my life where I need to be. But one day, the last day the seniors were here, somebody had written on the board in red ink, Bye, Ms. Roper. We love you. I love you guys, too. Now, here's the last bit, I promise. I know you're hot. I'm supposed to give you advice as you venture forth into adulthood. I've already told you not to smoke unless you're on fire. I've told you to go to class when you get to college. And I have admonished you to be kind to one another. These things are important, too. Start saving money now. If you get in the habit of saving money, you won't have to constantly worry about the lack of it. Learn from your mistakes. You are human, and no human is perfect no matter what your grandma tells you. <clears throat> you will make mistakes, and the tragedy occurs when you don't learn from them and repeat them. In this digital world, we are all connected to everyone continually. Make a point every once in a while of unplugging. Get out under the sky, away from Wi-Fi, and enjoy nature. Have an actual conversation with another person and look them directly in the eye while you speak. Take care of your body. Got news for you, that's the only one you get, okay? Make sure that when it is vintage, as mine is vintage, uh, that it still works for you, okay? Be a lifelong learner. Try new things and learn new skills. No matter how old you are, the thrill of learning something new never fades. Listen to your parents. They do know what they are talking about. Don't confuse your life with your job. Always remember that people are much more important than things. Always. Vote. You cannot complain about the government if you don't get out and vote. But do me a favor and research before you vote. Honestly, I think this year in the presidential election, I'm going to write the name Tucker Green on the line. No matter what tomorrow brings, always remember where you came from. Be humble. These words are often attributed to Ralph Waldo Emerson. He says, what lies behind us and what lies ahead of us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Remember that Miss Roper loves you, and I love Pickens High School. I'll always be a dragon at heart, and I'll always bleed green. Good luck, and God bless you. Well done, Ms. Roper. Well done. This time I'd like to bring back to the podium Ms. Jenny Morris, our salutatorian for the class of 2016. Thank you, Dr. Lemieux. Good morning again. My name is Jenny Morris, and this time I stand before you all as a 2016 salutatorian. Congratulations, class of 2016. We did it. I'm confident in saying that throughout life we've all encountered our fair share of ups and downs, so to speak. But look, here we are, we made it. We're graduating and we're moving forward. Thank you to all those who have been there for us over the years. Thank you to our friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, teachers, mentors, 
every single person who has played a role in our respective support systems. Thank you, and thank you to this community for shaping us into who we have become today. I'd like to begin with a quote from the introduction in Villette by Charlotte Bronte. The present is rooted in the past. In a very profound sense, it is the past. Without knowledge of the past, the present is incomprehensible. In other words, the past creates the present. In applying this to ourselves in our current situation, I advise us to reflect upon our 17, 18, or 19 years of existence. Let's try to understand our pasts, our stories. Throughout this last year, the Georgia FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America, statewide theme was share your story. And I can't think of a more appropriate piece of advice for graduating seniors. Class of 2016, let's go out there and conquer the world. Let's impose our stories upon society. Let's take our past and make something out of it. Let's make something out of ourselves. Let's get to know ourselves better and consequently those around us. Let's try to understand life because, you know what, in the words of Joseph Conrad, the mind is in fact, quote, capable of anything because everything is in it, all the past as well as all the future. We create our future and our future is based on how we interpret our past. I'll conclude with a final quote. As most of you know, I'm the biggest Gatsby fan, so I simply must include something from Fitzgerald. Our impending futures have, quote, eluded us then, but that's no matter. Tomorrow, we will run faster, stretch our arms farther, and one fine morning, so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past, our past. Again, congratulations, class of 2016. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. This time I'd like to introduce uh, Ms. Hannah Kilpatrick, our valedictorian for the class of 2016. at this point in our lives where the amount of possibilities in front of us is endless. It's overwhelming to think about, impossible to comprehend. It's incredibly exciting and slightly terrifying. As the wonderful math teacher, Ms. Lynn Cantrell, always says, and I bet everyone that has had her as a teacher knows what I'm about to say, life is all about choices. Sometimes I think, with all the choices I'm going to have to make, what if I make the wrong one? Here's how I've learned to cope with that nagging fear. I don't believe there's a single right answer. No roadmap, no step-by-step -step guide to the perfect life that actually works, and no single item, career, person, belief, or idea that will bring us happiness. I believe happiness, as well as sadness, have more to do with our attitude about a situation. The spoken word poet, Sarah Kay, once said, Life will hit you hard, in the face, and wait for you to get back up just so it can kick you in the stomach. But getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how much they like the taste of air. My point is, sometimes there's no right answer. There's no right choice. When the world tries to drag you down and you're not sure you can get back up again, or as Mr. Ted Estes calls these moments, gut checks, what you really have to do to get where you need to be is have faith and patience. Have faith in God and know that he has a plan for you. And have patience with yourself as you grow and learn and make a few mistakes. If you have a positive outlook, the most dismal circumstance is a small, transient roadblock on your path to achieving your dreams. Fellow classmates, before you leave today, I challenge each and every one of you to think about one simple question. What kind of legacy do you want to leave? The answer to this question is what should drive your choices throughout life. Imagine yourself as a character in your favorite book, movie, or TV show, and think about what you want your story to be. That's what really and truly, when you break it all down, connects humans of all different walks of life, our stories. 
We have the stories from the Bible, the classics we read in literature, Greek mythology, television shows, all these stories that connect us and make us feel something wonderful and unexplainable. And many years from now, when our choices turn into our story, and our story turns into the legacy we leave behind on this earth, do you ever wonder what people will say about you? If we don't go out into the world and consciously choose to make a difference, to leave our world slightly better than we found it, to be caring and compassionate, and to work toward our goals with unwavering determination, then what kind of legacy will we leave for the generations to follow us? In the words of the wise Dr. Seuss, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better at tonight. However, success isn't always about changing the world. I could stand here today and say, let's go out there and change the world. But the truth is, whether your name ends up in the history books or not, you can still be successful. Success isn't about what car you drive or how big your house is, but about figuring out what legacy you want to leave behind and constantly striving toward that goal, whether your legacy touches one person or millions. Before I close, I have to thank all the wonderful people who have shaped me into the person I am today. Thank you to my teachers, who gave more time and effort than they had to, to teach us not only about our school subjects, but also about life. Thank you to all my friends and boyfriends, who never fail to make me laugh when I'm down. Thank you to my family for always loving me. And most importantly, thank you to my parents for trying to raise me to be the best person I can be from the first day of my life until now. Thank you for your continuous love and support and for always pushing me to go after my dreams. And finally, class of 2016, congratulations and God bless you. Thank you, Hannah. Dr. Perry, Superintendent of Schools, Honorable Members of the Pickens County Board of Education, parents and guests, the faculty of Pickens High School and I confirm that these students receiving a diploma today, which are gathered and assembled here this morning on May 28, 2016, have completed all requirements for high school set forth by the State of Georgia and the Pickens County Board of Education and that they are all qualified to participate in this graduation exercise. At this time, I would like to ask our valedictorian, Anna Faith Kilpatrick, to come forward and receive her diploma from Superintendent Perry. Salutatorian. Jenny Rebecca Morris. And our senior class president, Tucker James Green. I would like to ask the Pickens High School Senior Class President Tucker Green to come forward and call out the names of the class of 2016 to award their diploma. Senior Government Vice President Jacob Austin Campbell. Elizabeth Catherine Adams. Luke Lee Anderson. Emily Taylor R. Marilyn Hope Atkins.
William Kyle Baker. Cassandra Natasha Barnes. Matthew Lee Bearden. Mitchell Taylor Bell. Zachary Morris Betts. Sean Isaac Bishop. Sierra Cheyenne Bowen. Anna Marie Boyles. Garrett Curtis Brasso. <laughs> Hannah Ann Breedlow. <laughs> Kyle Bates Brewer. <laughs> Ashley Claire Brock. Caleb Dwayne Brooks. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Brown. <laughs> Ann Taylor Brown Goolsby. <laughs> Jessica Ashlyn Bruce. Ethan William Burns. Marcus Allen Bird. Clay Alexander Callan. Ashlyn McKenzie Cantrell. Haley Ann Cantrell. Tyler Lamar Cantrell. Alexander Anthony Castillo. Dylan Luke Champion. Christopher Ty Chastain. Sabrina Brooke Chastain. Isaac Levi Chapman. Hannah Elizabeth Clark. Noah Michael Clayton. Rachel Lynn Clements. Sania Michelle Colburn. Aspen Alexandria Collette. <laughs> Ashley Cheyenne Colley. <laughs> Veronica Carolina Contreras Riviera. <laughs> Ansley Nicole Cook. William Allen Cooley. Kinsady Joe Cornett. Robert Andrew Crenshaw.
Kayla Leanne Crook. <laughs> Chloe Veronica Zarowitz. Sarah and Ali Daniels. Austin Lee Davenport. Caitlin Haley Davis. Mercedes May Davis. Samuel Joseph Davis. Trevor James Bean. Kurt Ronald Decker. Selena Teru Delgado. Angela Marie Demint. Christopher Larry Dinsmore. Caitlin Irene Dillon. Tannis Edmund Dimsdale. Sky Nicholas DePrima. Thomas Christopher DePuma. Tyler James Donka. Katie Lynn Douglas. Stephen Tyler Drake. Alyssa Kaylin Duncan. Cameron Parker Eagleson. Christian Pierce Eagleson. Jonathan Isaac Edwards. Mackenzie Stephen Edwards. Daniel Lamar Eatson. Dylan Reeves Eilers. Caitlin Danielle Elliott. Brandon O'Neill Estes. <laughs> Megan Faith Everett. Hey, I'm coming, y'all. Hannah Rose Ferguson. Clinton James Fletcher. Logan Druce Fountain. Devin Elijah Fowler. Austin Thomas Fox. Brandon Clay Garland. Tyler Jordan Garner. Dalton Warren Gazaway. James Dylan Gazaway.
Haley Gage Gaydon. Scott Michael Gitz. Chelsea K. Gibson. Kelsey Lynn Gilbert. Sean Jason Andrew Gill. Peyton Alexa Godfrey. Thomas Hunter Golden. Isela Guadalupe Gonzalez Contreras. Ethan Elijah Goodwin. Sarah Elizabeth Haythcock. Cheyenne Lakota Handy. Alexis Jade Hampton. Kelsey Renee Hand. Abby Elizabeth Hardman. Blake Ryan Haynes. Taylor Brooke Haynes. Cutter Allen Hefner. Zachary Ross Henley. Andrew Kyle Henry. Roger Hunter Henry. Samuel Eli Henson. Ashley Nicole Peary. Taylor Marie Peary. Zachary James Herman. Kimberly Anae Hernandez. William Taylor Heskett. Anthony James Hill. Clifton Clayman Hill. Kyle Allen Hill. <laughs> Alicia Sarah Holbert. Hunter Riverstone Hudson. Talisha Shakira Jackson. Kaylee Ashlyn Jim. Corbin Wallace Johnson. Camden Ryan Jones. Kenneth Matthew Jurgerson. <laughs> J. 
Chase Logan Joyner. Brittany Alexandra Jump. Lauren Ashley Kettler. Dimitri Isaiah Landale. Savannah Faith Blaney. Alexander Carlton Langston. Walker Collins Lawrence. Julia Cheyenne Nicole Lawson. Carrie Taylor Lee. Macy Brooke Lee. Adam Joseph Pensiera Light. Alexandria Louise Lemieux. Jody DeLois Lillard. Brianna Renee Lingerfeld. Karen Elizabeth Little. Elizabeth May Lohman. Kayla Ann Lau. Victoria Nicole Lowe. Robert Anthony Luke. Alex Gabrielle Lupi. Raven Joel Luther. Brooklyn Joe Lyon. Chanel Taylor Mako. Joshua Stephen Martin. Randall Craig Martin, Jr. Edgar Martinez Paredes. Pablo Antonio Martinez Sanchez. Austin Thomas Massey. Alexis Shelby Masterson. Shelly Lynn Matthews. Clay Thomas MacArthur. Charles Blake McClure.
Jason Allen McCoy. Brittany Elizabeth McGuire. Kenneth Allen McNamara. Joseph Charles Metters. Brandon Lee Meadows. Alicia Renee Miller. Meredith Grace Miller. Carissa Sarah Millsap. Amelia Teresa Miranda. Brooke Leanne Mitchell. Hannah Beth Mobley. Stephen David Moore. Mary Elizabeth Mosley. Sarah Faith Mulkey. Raven Leanne Mullinax. Caitlin Deanne Neighbors. Leah Danielle Neal. Cody Michael Nelson. Jennifer Ellen Nichols. William Moore Nicholson. Aspen James Norton. Keaton Hayes Odom. Andrew Michael Ortiz. Monisha Rain Owens. Elizabeth Lee Salona Paget. Bryce Edward Page. Jacob Coleman Pear. Anthony James Parker. Taylor Destin Parker. Anna Marie Parson. Ashley and Nicole Penley. Peyton Joan Perry. Maverick Dakota Pierce. Justin Lee Plummer.
Jennifer Caroline Hope. Jonathan Hunter Powell. Kayla Ann Prather. Susanna Spring Price. Peyton Lane Prince. Frederick Angelo Camarejo. Bradley Harrison Regano. Jessica Ann Ratcliffe. Travis Wayne Raven. <laughs> Ashley Schuyler Denise Ray. <laughs> Jesse Janata Ray. William Christian Reed. <laughs> Stephanie Tyne Riddle. <laughs> Summer Scott Riddle. <laughs> James Trent Rosati. Courtney Elizabeth Robertson. Sydney Alexa Roman. Stephen James Rooker. James Holden Root. Dalton Curtis Roper. <laughs> Jessica Elizabeth Roper. Kelsey Lee Saint. <laughs> Billy Brendan Sands. Caitlin Brienne Sands. Jonathan Gabriel Sandoval. Wesley Ellis Shelton. Hannah Leanne Shanafel. William Anthony Slavin. Amber Casey Smith. Ansley Michaela Smith. Haley Lynn Smith. Michaela Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> Bailey Pauline Smith Faulkner. Yeah. 
Tenyet Joy Sohel. Diana Solario Moda. Austin Michael Sparks. Courtney Lynn Spivey. Ashley Nicole Stafford. Taylor Ann Stallman. Luke Edward Stevens. Harley McKinley Sutton. Skylar Jeremiah Sutton. Michaela Kalee Taylor. Brandon Nicholas Teams. Jillian Rebecca Terhune. Andrew Travis Thacker. Hunter Allen Thompson. Summer Alyssa Tidwell. Bobby Douglas Timms. Andres Elson Torres. Emily Elizabeth Trossarello. Adelina Valdivinos Ortega. Leslie Vega. Dejon Monre Walden. Chelsea Alyssa Walden. Angela Hope Walker. Dylan Craig Walker. Parker Thomas Walters. Tyler Ricky Belton Waters. Tyler Michael Watson. Brenna Elizabeth Webb. Austin Lee Wills. Kyle Shane West. Audrey Ina Wheeler. Luke Daniel Whitehill. Christopher T.J. Williams. Clayton Kyle Wilson. Larry Blake Wilson. Ashley Brianne Winchell.
Hannah Robin Wise. Emily Morgan Worley. And Elise Iescus. This time I'd like to bring back to the podium the senior class treasurer, Ms. Hanika Patrick, to introduce the class song. Jason Aldean. This song is a bit of a tearjerker, but it is so relevant to this time in our lives. As we prepare to go our separate ways, we've all got a few goodbyes to say. However, graduation isn't going to be goodbye forever to everything we've ever known. While yes, our lives are going to change, the goodbyes we say don't have to be forever. Not all relationships will last, but the important ones will, because there are just some people in life that we wouldn't be the same without. So, as you prepare to say goodbye to your friends, family, or parents, think about the people in your life who mean so much to you that you just can't imagine saying goodbye to them. And promise yourself that this isn't goodbye, it's see you soon. See you when I see you. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. And as Hannah said, we'll play this song at the very end of the ceremony. Please welcome back to the podium the senior class president for the class of 2016, Mr. Tucker Green. Good morning. For about the tenth time this morning, I would once again like to welcome each and every one of you to the graduation ceremony of the greatest class to ever enter Pickens High School. My name is Tucker Green and I am the senior class president. It is with great honor that I stand before you today on behalf of our family, the PHS class of 2016. As any family, together we have had our own fair share of trials and tribulations over the past 13 years. We have achieved great feats and persevered through heartbreaking tragedies. It would be unjust to go through this ceremony without paying tribute to one of our own. Amongst the class of 2016, you will find a single open chair with a white bow in honor of a beautiful member of our class whose smile touched all of our hearts for many years. Although Sierra Stevens is not with us here physically today, I know she is with us always. I struggled with the words for this speech. What do you say to such accomplished individuals? People who have set numerous records in academics, in athletics, 
in the arts, and much more. Individuals who will attend schools in over 10 states who have received over $1.4 million in scholarships. What do I say to people who hold the future in their hands? The teachers, doctors, farmers, lawyers, soldiers, accountants, moms, dads, and maybe even the future president of our tomorrow. And while thinking of the words to say to my peers as we embark on our new journeys, whether that be vocational training, military service, jobs, college, or any other number of opportunities, three words kept coming to me. Words I have heard all my life. Words like many of your parents, my mama echoed to me every night. To the point it got annoying when I was younger and didn't quite understand. But today, it's the only words that came to mind. Say your prayers. When you're coasting along in life, everything going is planned, say your prayers. When you're at your lowest of lows, say your prayers. And most assuredly, when you're at your highest of highs and you think nothing can happen to you, say your prayers. Today, as we reach our crossroads, we enter a world at a crossroads. I urge you to be positive contributors to the world we all call home. Be a light and at times a dim world. Remember the important things in life, faith, family, and friends. Go see the world, change the world, but never forget where you came from. It made you who you are. I would like to take this time to thank my friends, my class of 2016 family, for some of the best years and times of my life. I want to thank the excellent faculty and staff of PHS for your help over the past four years. I want to thank the wonderful teachers I and my peers have had over the years. You have had undoubted impacts on our lives that we are forever grateful for. I would name you all, but I hear Mr. Colbert's belly growling, which I think is my cue to hurry up. I have to thank Rhonda, Charmin, Anna, Maxie, and Sharon for allowing me to work with you five amazing ladies over the past few months. It has been entertaining, to say the least. Most importantly, I want to thank the parents and families who have stood by us and guided us to this day. I know personally without my mom and dad and their loving support, I wouldn't be standing here today. I'm forever grateful for you both. I'd like to leave you with this quote from one of our lesser known founding fathers, Dr. Joseph Warren, whose wisdom and leadership are still felt today. This quote was shared by President Ronald Reagan at his inauguration in 1980. Our country is in danger but not to be despaired of. On you depends the fortunes of America. You are to decide the important question upon which rests the happiness and liberty of millions not yet born. Act worthy of yourselves. Many people say they don't know what the future looks like. I am proud to say I am not one of those people. I can say with great pride and optimism, the future looks like the 264 graduates before you today. Congratulations, PHS class of 2016. We did it. As we embark on our new journeys, it would be my greatest hope that God bless you and keep you through all the days ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Class of 2016, please join me as we move our tassels from the right to the left. It is with great pleasure that I present the Pickens High School Chorus under the direction of Ms. Valerie Bohm to sing our alma mater.
Thank you, Chorus. Well done. I would like to express my thanks to the uh, PHS Graduation Committee who met with me throughout the year. You may be seated, by the way. That we honor our graduates and their families with an outstanding ceremony. I want to say an extra special thanks to Ms. Sharman Martin, who co-chaired this committee, uh, who works as my secretary and is a unifying force behind our graduation program. I'm very indebted to Sharman. I'm also indebted to the rest of my support staff, Anna Hedrick, Rhonda Freeman, Maxie Van Sant, Sharon Childers, and Cindy Pope for their terrific work. Also thanks to my wonderful counselors, Meredith Jorgensen, Kathy Harrell, Heather Whitfield, for all the great work they did and endless hours that they put into this. Special thanks to the band and chorus directors, Michael Hoob and Valerie Bone. Kudos to the school resource officers, Charles Buffard, Charles Gillette, Scott King. Thanks, Scott, for being my uh, bagpipe player and leading those students uh, to the procession. I appreciate you doing that. And also especially to Lieutenant Shane Padgett. Thanks for all the CTA department and Pickens High School staff for setting up and cleaning up. Thanks to my excellent administrators, Harold Colbert, Chris Wallace, Scott Perkins, and Chad Flatt. Thank you guys. I couldn't do it without you. Finally, thanks again to the Pickens High School faculty, staff, and student body. I especially appreciate the student body for their great efforts during graduation practice this week. Appreciate you guys going down to the middle schools and elementary schools and sharing with them your legacy. In conclusion, the Pickens High School is a great institution for teaching and learning, and I know that the school will continue to strive for excellence in the four A's, academics, arts, athletics, and attendance. Like Ms. Roper said in her speech, like Tucker said in his speech, I am very proud of the class of 2016. It has 155 students who are Hope Scholars, and they have accumulated $1.45 million in scholarships as a class. This fact bodes well for our future. Please give these students a round of applause. Finally, speaking of the future, I would like to personally congratulate the 2016. You guys did it. There's one more thing we got to do. Mr. Green, President of Senior Class, would you close us out?